Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are going to be entering into the Space Age and uh, starting with advanced rocketry. Um, yeah. All right, guys. So I just wanted to say advanced rocketry because that's what we're going to be getting in today. Um, we're going to be getting into some advanced rocketry, but before we do that, I do want to show you guys a little bit of the automation that I did set up. Let's hop right over here. Okay, um, it's it does have a bug um, in the automation, so uh, just bear with me. But uh, it'll it basically run through this whole process. So I just put all the box I in here. Okay, and uh, down below here, I think I fixed the problem with our power. Um, so I just ran cabling all the way under here, underneath this LV transformer. I ran cable all the way across here. I know there's a little bit of loss, but there's not too much loss in power. But I hooked it up to here. This is going so much faster now, it's not even dropping um, below the uh, power recommended. Um, so it's, I mean, it's processing this stuff really fast in the industrial grinder. Okay, and this is hooked up to a 32, uh, 32 EU, but it seems like it is staying filled faster than when I had two of those 64. Four EU a tick generators hooked to it. I don't know what. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like 164 EU generators should have done just fine, but I guess it doesn't work that way. Uh, so yeah. So basically, I have uh, a filter set up. I have two filters right here pulling out bauxite and ruby ore, and it goes in here. That way, nothing uh, gets filled up. Unfortunately, this slot seems to fill up. I don't, uh, I guess it processes from this slot too. I don't know. It seems like it's processing from this slot, I guess. Um, I guess it processes from both slots. I don't know. Um, but it goes in here into this auto crafter. Um, right now I just have it set up as kind of like a buffer chest on insert. It's just inserting what goes in here. And bauxite and the ruby, the small piles of ruby go in here and they get auto crafted. Those get auto-crafted in this auto-crafter. These are just used uh, as a buffer chest for now. Um, and then they both get exported. The uh, Ruby Dust gets exported and the Bauxite Ore gets exported. Comes all the way over here into our Industrial electro Electrolyzer. Probably would have been better to keep these stuff uh, keep this stuff together. Um, but uh, I didn't. So <laughs> this is kind of like a giant test world. And all, I mean, honestly, what are we doing? We're testing a lot of stuff because I've never used any of this stuff before. Okay, so uh, it goes from the industrial um, electrolyzer, and then it comes over here into this chest. Um, all the stuff is exported out of here, goes straight into the chest. Um, I also have these empty cells being pulled in, so it stays full of empty cells. Okay, so that's that's how I'm managing that. Um, the problem is, is this uses a odd amount. I think this one uses 12, and the other one uses 9. So there has to be nine of the or 12 of these items in here for it to work, and if there's not 12, it'll just stay in here, so it won't automatically switch over. Um, I'm sure I'd have, have to use something else to do that, to get it to possibly do that, but uh, here's just some chrome ore that we had laying around from the previous episodes, uh, but what's happening is, right now, I'm working on making the titanium. As you can see, titanium dust. Um, I do have a bit of cr uh, chromium because I processed a bunch, and what we're processing right now is what came overnight inside of our, um, our whatever that thing's called. <laughs> I think I don't know why I can't think of the name of it, um, but our void ore miner. That's right. Uh, right here, I have these two ex exporting. I have the chromium dust and the small piles, and I have the small piles inserting into here and auto crafting into the titanium dust. And then it, it gets exported back and goes all the way across here into our arc furnace, which then gets processed. So this is how much uh, chrome we have, and we're going to need that for today's episode. And this is how much titanium we have. I don't know if we're going to need to get into this today, um, because really these plates are used for the advanced structures. And I'm not sure that's used for the railgun. So... I don't know if we need a railgun. I don't know. We'll find out when we start working on this. Um, as you can see, these are holding up pretty well. I've already got a setup uh, ready for making more of them if I do need so, which I probably will. 
Um, I was told that you can put unbreaking on them. I'm not sure how that works. But uh, I went ahead and set up the uh, immersive engineering's uh, workbench. It's pretty easy. You just make this blueprint, and the blueprint is actually really easy to make. You just need that graphite before you can actually make it. And uh, yeah, you just make it, set it in here, and now we get 100% integrity on our electrodes. So basically doubling um, our time, uh, the amount of use on these guys. And I have a bunch, so I can make a bunch. I went ahead and processed a few blocks of uh, uh, this good stuff, the uh, blocks of cold coke, which has just been processing in here. So... Oh, I have a hole in the floor. I need to fix that. Um, Alright, so let's get into the advanced rocketry. Now, one of the first things we need to make is the halo projector, I think. Or hollow. Let's, maybe we can do projector. This guy. Okay, um, there, I have heard there's some bugs with servers with this thing, but I don't know if that's true at the moment. Um, so we need these optical sensors. So we need some gold plates. I'm pretty sure we probably have some. So two optical sensors. And that's pretty easy to make, actually. There we go. So this is going to tell us everything we need to make, okay? Um, and there's there's a few things that I would like to get set up right away. Um, but I think making rocket fuel might be something that we need to do right away. I don't know. We're making the assembler. There is a... Let's look up at... Um, advanced rocketry. Alright. There should be some blocks in here from advanced rocketry. That uh, will tell us a few things that we need. Okay. Um, does advanced rocketry have a book? This user interface. Does this... I don't think there is like a manual for advanced rocketry. I don't know. Other than the halo projector. We can check our achievements. That might be something we can do. Let's check our achievements. Is there one for advanced rocketry? There is. Okay, step one is make a small plate presser. I don't think there is one in this pack. There's not. Okay, so we can't actually can't actually do that achievement. Cause first, before we can complete this, we have to make the small plate presser or presser, and we can't make the plate presser because it's disabled. Um I don't think there's a way to auto complete quests. <laughs> oh, yeah there is. Okay, so I just auto completed it. Okay, so now we can get going. Um, okay, so now I got the achievement holographic. Okay. Alright, so, um, what is this? Craft a crystallizer. Craft a rolling machine. Craft a lathe. Alright, craft an arc furnace. And craft an electrolyzer. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure I should probably follow this. Um, since I've never used rock advanced rocketry before, I'm sure there's shortcuts in the pack that you can just, you know, go straight to something. I don't know. But I don't exactly know what we're working towards yet. I need to read the book. Um, so before we even step in, let's go ahead and enter into this age. Um, we're going to need four plates. I'm going to go ahead and get all of them pressed into plates. Because um, I don't think we need them for anything else. Let's see. It's used for a few things. I don't know, but I think a stack of, or half a stack will probably be good for now to get them pressed in the plates. The plate press is already on there. So we'll just throw that on there. Let this guy work. I think I have one in here already because I was testing it out, making sure it all worked like it's supposed to. And it does. I love the sound of this thing. I, ris I wish I, I should have made this, uh, I should have made this earlier. Because, I mean, it's not like it's slow at making plates. I mean, it pl makes plates pretty fast. And it'll make iron plates and stuff for uh, uh, IC2. So, I, I should have done that. Okay, so while this is producing plates, we have enough now that we should be able to start crafting, or start getting, or getting ourselves into the space age. All right. And here's the block we need to get into the space age. I'm, I don't know if we have steel rods. 
Still rods. Okay. Um, it might honestly be cheaper. This requires three steel to make one rod. Is there an easier way to make steel rods? That's the ones from this mod pack. It'll use any of them. Okay, this metal press. Okay, it requires a titanium... Oh no, it requires any rod. Let's make a... Iron rod? I didn't mean to do that. I guess anyone that comes up that's immersive engineering. I'm trying to find a way to make it cheaper on us um, without I guess we can make one steel rod and then we'll use that to make the plate There we go. Metal press mold. And uh, we can use that with some steel. We're getting pretty low on steel, man. That's that's not a good thing to see, is my steel production pretty low. I do have two more stacks of it in the thing. I've been trying to keep up with it, putting a stack in every episode. Um, that's been kind of keeping things going for us. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're getting pretty low. Okay. Let's take this off. I just keep them in here. Throw that there. And honestly, we'll drop it down even more. So instead of using three steel, it's going to use one, right? Wait. Or is this actually less efficient? Oh no, it's the same. <laughs> it's just more work. Okay, take this off. It is the same. Okay, oh well. I just wasted some time. Alright, uh, let's get back into making what we were making. And that is this guy. Okay. So we need just the steel rods. That's it. That's all we're needing. And, bam! We are in the space age. Awesome. I need to uh, find somewhere else to place this. Right there. Okay, so uh, there's our lovely trophy. Um, but it's time to do some more work. Um, with our halo projector, um, like I said, if we follow our achievement guides, it says to make a crystallizer. crystallizer right here all right and uh, it requires the structure block right here um, it requires these circuit boards so it just requires copper dust and this circuit the enhanced circuit which requires red calculator parts okay um, I don't have one of these automated this is the only one we don't have automated. So we do have a carpenter in here. Right here. So what I'm probably going to do is set this one up for that. Where did our thing go? Right here. Alright, we'll set this up like so. And I just need these circuits, which shouldn't be too hard for me to just grab. We only need a few of them. Uh, not this. And then this one. And that should be plenty, I think. Let's set this up like so. And this gets bronze. Okay. 
And that will cook up there. Right? Right? What's going on? Can't work. Oh, has no power. What? Oh, my power's disconnected. Oh, this is from me uh, messing around with our power stuff. Okay. Now it's got power. Now it can work. I was like, what is going on here? Okay. There we go. Now we got some stuff going on. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, I can probably have a... Well, I can always pull them up in here. I don't know why. I didn't have to go over there. I can do... Um, no? thought there was a search up red. It doesn't pull it up. Oh, well. We can, we can find the circuits pretty easy. Okay. Um, so that's this part of it. And that is a crystal... crystallizer and that's just this part of it there's I'm sure more to this multi-block but uh, that's just this for now okay we need lime dye um let's get some bone meal I have more bone than this by the way this is just some all right, it looks like we're gonna need lime dye, probably cactus. Cactus green is really what we need. This thing comes in really handy when it comes to dyes, by the way. I wish it didn't bounce around like that. So cactus green is a pain to get, and it just gives it to you. So, um, back to the crystallizer. <laughs> A lot to just get one thing. Well, that should be enough for a little while. Okay, there's our user interface. Now, this is just a user interface. Okay, so it, it's just an item, a crafting material, because it doesn't have a UI or nothing. I didn't know if there was any kind of guide or anything like that. Um, so we have that. Uh, we just need to make these guys. Okay, so I'm missing copper. Uh, we basically need a copper... Just copper powder. Will that work? Or do I have to use a macerator, which I've gotten rid of? Oh, it uses any kind of powdered copper. Okay. And this uses crushed gold. Okay. Some gold. And we'll get that ground up too, because it looks like we're going to need it quite a bit for a lot of these processors and stuff. So this is something that we're definitely going to need to make a bit of. Alright, so everything is done in here. So we can just take everything out. And hopefully we have just about everything to start making this first thing. I'm, and I don't know how many of these I'm going to do on camera. Because they're just like the um, immersive engineering ones. They, I mean, they're multi-blocks. So I'm really just following that hollow projector. Is it hollow? Yeah. Hollow projector. Okay. Um, but you have to make this base first. And honestly, I don't even know what this does. Oh, it turns silicon ingots into the silicon bull. But to be able to get silicon, you need a this silicon. Like, I guess it requires this silicon specifically. I don't know if it's or dictionary. We're going to find out. Um, it also makes this crystal. But uh, it requires a silicon nugget. So I'm assuming that this gets broke down. Um, and to craft this, you need 
their arc furnace, which is its own multi-block, and it requires sand. Um, but luckily, then then it just turns sand into silicon, so we can actually use this in almost all the other silicon recipes. But uh, maybe we should make in the maybe we should make the electronic. I don't know. We'll make both of them because we do need both. But uh, I need to go ahead and make the crystallizer. Um, since that is one of the one of these steps. All right, it doesn't hurt to go ahead and make the things we need. Okay, so there's that circuit board. There's, oh, we're missing something. We're missing intricate. We have these. Just craft five of those. Shouldn't take too long to craft these either. They are relatively fast at crafting. Like, there's one already. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I'll just let it do its thing. Alright. I um, think that's just about it. Making these guys. There we go. Crystallizer. There's our achievement for it. Okay. I'm glad I unlocked that achievement. See, I've had problems before with the achievements, but now I know how I can just go ahead and I guess instead of left-clicking, you can right-click on them and it'll automatically open the achievement. Alright, let's see what other things we're going to need for this, and I don't know if this uses RF power or EU power. But I guess we're going to clear out some grass and move it over here with everything else. I guess. <laughs> All right, let's get our projector out, and uh, let's see what things... All right, I guess shift-click? Yeah, shift-click. So we have the cutting machine, the lathe, and the crystallizer. Okay, the electric arc furnace. Let's see what the electric arc furnace looks like. It's not showing up. There it is. Okay. So, it's just heat proof bricks? Just one layer? Am I missing something? Um, okay. I'm just missing something. You can just break these blocks, by the way. Okay, so that's a pretty big machine, actually. And it needs to go, actually, one more in. Not working. How's that? No, it's still not where I want it. I just want to make sure. Right here. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure that way I know how far away to put this guy, I guess. I'm sure I can always move it. Okay. Let's just get rid of you. Shift click. Let's look at the crystallizer. Okay, this is all the crystallizer is. So the crystallizer goes here, then we need an output and input hatch, copper coil, power plug, power, wait, IC2 plug? No, I want power input plug. Please tell me, okay. I was like, please tell me it accepts RF, please. Um, so here's the power input plug. Requires small batteries. Okay, so this is not too difficult. Okay, so power input plug. Then we need the output hatch. Input and output hatch. And a copper coil. Which one? This one, probably. I'm assuming this one's part of the mod, so 
this copper coil, which is all of these around that. Oh man. It's like a super copper coil. Okay. Well, we need to make that, so off to the races again. We're going to be doing some more crafting. Just a bit more crafting. Hopefully you guys don't mind the crafting. I mean, it's just a, a big part of this pack, so um, showing these recipes is not that bad. So, two copper coils. Um, man, I hate how it all disappeared. So we have this copper coil, which we need these copper coils. Okay. And these. Do we have some of these? We have two of those. Not enough. Not enough at all. Uh, we need copper. Extrude some more copper. I think I have some extruded in here, but we need a bunch more. Might as well just take a couple more stacks just for uh, for measure. Okay, so we can already start working on some of this. And that is making these guys. That's six. I think that's enough to get one. Yes, one copper coil. I guess while it's working, um, we need uh, imp hatches. Input hatch. So we need the steel rods. Alright, input hatch. An output hatch. So we're going to need more of our plates. Those are probably going to go up quickly, I'm assuming. We're going to need a lot of chrome to make these multi blocks. I mean, a lot more. I'm going to really have to process a lot of that off camera. Um, man. Uh, my rubies, though, they seem to be getting quite a bit per day, um, just with the tier 1. So that's not that big of a deal. By the way, I set up these auto-crafting for the uh, 64k, all these storage cells, or storage components. Um, and it, it'll actually make them really fast, so that's another thing I did. Alright, uh, we need to go back to hatch. Because we need a output hatch. Output hatch, just the opposite. Okay, and we need a power. Power input plug. Or these. Iron rod. Sweet. Oh wait, we need uh, this. And that's everything for the multi-block, I do believe, besides the coils, which we were just waiting for all this copper. There we are. And we are set. Okay. I wonder if our multi-block stayed in place after us leaving. Oops. I held shift again. It did. <laughs> stayed in place. Okay. Um, so our crystallizer. Right here. Crystallizer goes right in the middle. Our input hatch goes here. All right, our output hatch goes here. Power plug goes in the back. All right, and the two copper coils. And then you right click on the this block. Wait, why? Why? Please tell me it doesn't have to be an IC2 plug.
what's what's false about this? Okay, let me look at the. Let me look again. Um, let's let's look at her book. Okay, let's look at her guide before I I start going crazy. All right. Um, to get started, you'll need to build a rocket. A rocket can be any shape and made of any blocks. It just needs um, liquid fluid tanks and uh, liquid fuel, a guidance computer, a seat, and the rocket needs to be placed on a square or rectangle launch pad. Um, the structure tower blocks must be placed touching one side of the... Okay, this is telling you how to make a rocket. You also need a rocket ass uh, assembling machine placed on one side of the launch pad, but not touching it. All right. You can scan the rocket and it tells you if it has enough tanks and engines. If yes, you can click build. Okay. All right, it says you need a say to fuel your rocket though, you need a lot of multi blocks. The halo projector should aid you in building these. Sneak right click it. Okay. To um, it only shows one horizontal level at a time. To change the level, sneak scroll wheel. Oh, so we're probably missing a level. Probably missing a level on this crystallizer. So, little sneak, sneak scroll wheel. Quartz Crucibles. Quartz Crucibles is all we need. Okay. Oh, man, I was... I was like... I really hope we can use RF. That would make things a lot easier. It's sad when I'm just begging for... <laughs> begging for it to be a RF power. Okay. So, Quartz Crucibles. That is one thing we need. I wish we had some kind of like creative, um, like IC2 or not IC2, applied energistics, um, tablet so that way we can access this from anywhere. All right. This right here Quartz Crucibles. So we need six. Correct. And that's all we need. We should be done. We should be ready to make this. Um, there's nothing we can put in it though. So making that blast furnace is probably going to be the only other thing that we really need to do. Actually, I don't want this where it's at. By the way, I really don't want this here. Um... I think I'm going to put it over here. I know right now there is this stuff in the way and it needs to be kind of leveled out. But uh, I think I'm going to build it here. Let me get some building blocks. Yeah, I'm going to build it. I'm going to put it right here. Um, that way we have access to power relatively close, or pretty close. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot better. And we can build the other machines near it as well. Okay, um, Crystallizer, back to building this thing all over again. Crystallizer in the center. Input hatch goes here. Output hatch. Power cube. Copper coils. And our quartz cru crucibles. Okay. So at least we solved a few problems today. It's kind of hard to place these, by the way. Awesome. Now we'll right click. And it turns into this block. Okay. And um, we have some dirt. Awesome. That looks kind of cool. That is a really cool looking interface. Okay, so our output hatch, our input hatch, I think you can swap these out so they don't have to be on this side like that. But you put the stuff in here and in the crystallizer. Um, 
Crystallizer makes uh, the silicon bull. Okay. And the silicon bull is used to make the silicon wafer. And the silicon wafer is how we get um, the sensors and stuff and the microwave transmitter and the mass thing. And then this is used in the precision assembler to make the basic circuit plate and the biome changer. And this is used to make the tracking circuit. And the tracking circuit's used to make the astral body processor. And then the guidance computer. Basically all the other stuff that we need. The microwave receiver. Orbital laser drill. Shits for mining. Um, the rocket fuel unloader, the rocket fuel loader. So yeah, we, we did need this thing, so that's something that we do need. I'm, I'm assuming following the, uh, the list is not going to turn us or take us in the wrong direction. Um, but I could be wrong. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Um, so yeah, I just need to get some more dirt. I'm just using this for right now. Um, I think we can see how expensive it is to make um, that arc furnace. I know we'll have another, just another arc furnace. Electric arc furnace at that. Uses more electric power. Um, but I would like to get that up and running. I don't know if we have time this episode. I definitely don't, now that I look at it. Um, but I do want to see exactly what that thing was to make. Oh, it even tells you, it has, gives you a list of the things you need. Oh, how nice is that? Let's go to um, the electric arc furnace and let's see. It tells you everything we need. So um, we're gonna need 63 or yeah, 63 heat proof bricks. Heat proof bricks. Oh boy. Okay. Well, why would you? Why would you do that? Why would you want to do that? Why? Why? I mean, it's, it's a shapeless crafting. Um, okay, so it gives you 16. That's not too bad. Um, I was thinking it was one-to-one. -one. That would be awful. Um, but yeah, that's not too bad. So, um, I'll, we'll probably make that next episode, I think. Um, and that will allow us to get f moving further on. Um, I know usually I'm, I progress pretty far per episode. Um, but, I mean, we're probably going to spend a lot of time in this age. Um, I'm just, just assuming... Because I've not used advanced rocketry ever. I've not even touched it. I've not really seen much of it. Um, the only thing I've really done is made the sawmill and stuff like that. And that's it. Um, making these. And this is a part of the um, I'm, the lib fat volps. <laughs> volps, I guess. Lib volps, which I guess is an extension to advanced rocketry. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with it, but uh, yeah, we we got one multi-block. That just goes to show you, we spent 30 minutes today, actually it was more on my time, but 30 minutes in just one video setting up a crystallizer. Crazy. Okay, well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and as always, thanks for watching.